Merry Christmas from I Love New York. And this is the Diker Heights Christmas Lights, a sight to be seen, credited with this household for starting the tradition in 1986. And we can still see some of those original decorations as well as these new ones like the Merry Christmas lights in the tree. This is the home of Lucy Spada. And she put up her display with 40 angels on her lawn to honor her mother after she passed away in 1986. We'll take a walk up and get a little bit of a closer look. Some of those original angels are still on display today. And now let's take a walk to see some more of the Diker Heights Christmas lights. This is actually very easy to get to. If you're visiting the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, which is only 11 miles away from this destination, you can catch the D train to 79th Street. So it'll only be $2.75 to see an inflatable camel in Brooklyn, but it actually goes for blocks. There are so many different lights to see. You might be wondering, is the baby Jesus in the manger? Let's take a look. Not in this manger. I have seen some where the baby Jesus is in the manger. Keep Christ in Christmas. Wait until the 25th. It's all here. You also might be wondering, where do people keep all of these things? Uh, some people put them in storage. And a flatbed truck for some households arrives around Thanksgiving. But I've heard the decorations start as early as... August. Some people will hire companies to do their decorating for them. Whereas others, it is a labor of holiday love. And they do this out of their own love for the holiday. But actually, credit goes a little bit to another neighborhood for possibly inspiring this display. And it's also in Brooklyn. That would be the Frank Sedio house over in Canarsie. Which you can get to by taking the last stop on the L train. And that is a quick walking tour of some of the Christmas lights of Diker Heights. And don't miss the 4th of July lights in some of the household and Marine Park area. Gotta love BKNY and I'll see you at Coney Island for the Polar Plunge on New Year's Day. Till next time.